Hello mga peeps! Kumusta na po? How are you? How's everybody? It's been a while since I, ha since I had my last video. But this one is very important, okay? Before you skip, before you stop, please watch this. Very, very crucial to sa ating mga Pilipino here in Canada. This is for my Filipino people, he fellow Filipino here in Canada. It doesn't matter kung citizen kayo or PR kayo, basta Filipino kayo dito sa Canada. Okay? So ang current Prime Minister natin ngayon, si Justin Trudeau, is a liberal party. Kaya wala kang mababasa na congratulatory notes coming from him for our BBM, pagkapanalo ni BBM. For the same reason na he's coming from liberal party. So, our next national election sa Canada will be probably three years from now. Okay? So, kami, politika, Partido Federal ng Pilipinas or PFP Canada, we will be supporting the Conservative Party of Canada. So, ngayon, ito yung, ito yung news na ibabalita ko sa'yo. Ngayon, the process is the Conservative Party is now selecting the potential leader na pwedeng isalang nila for national election three years from now. Okay? So, among all those leaders na pagpipilian is Patrick Brown. Sino ba si Patrick Brown? Patrick Brown is he's a Canadian. He's born here. He's raised in Barrie. But now, he's the current mayor of Brampton. Pero, ang relationship ni Patrick Brown among the Filipino community is very a long history of relationship among them, among us. In fact, si Patrick Brown is one of the active members of Knights of Rizal. Imagine that. Ako nga Pilipino, magti-20 years na sa Canada. Never nga ako naka-attend sa mga meeting or gathering ng Knights of Rizal. Itong Canadian na to, matagal ng member ng Knights of Rizal. And... He's working hand-in-hand hand really with Filipino groups, with Filipino communities. That's why he's reaching out his hand to us. First time na magkaroon tayo ng representation, potential representation to the federal government. So, this is very crucial. Kasi yung current, yung, yung prime minister natin ngayon, he loved, he, I remember what he said, he loved Filipino kasi nanis niya Filipino. Well, Patrick Brown, he loves Filipino kasi he's working hand in hand with the Filipino community. So those are two types, two different representations of our Filipino people here in Canada, right? So ngayon, this step is very crucial. We only have up to June 3 the membership. Gito kasi yung process. Sa so, unlike sa Pilipinas, the national election, sa salang lang kung sinong gusto nila. Dito since federalism sa Canada, per political party magpipili sila na kung sino yung pwedeng isalang nila sa national election. And one of those potential leaders is si Patrick Brown. Okay? So, in order for... Then, paano sila pumili? They're gonna have their own small election within the political party. So, yun. Doon ako... Doon tayo papasok, mga Pilipino. We will vote Patrick Brown as the, as the leader of the conservative party. And how can we vote? How can we cast our vote within the political party. We should be a member of the political party. We should be a member of the conservative political party here in Canada. How you become a member, I, I, the link, you can I share you the link, it's on the description. Click the link and be a member. We only have up to June 3 to become a member of the political party. So, sinong pwede maging members? Lahat pwede maging members. Basta meron kang meron kang provincial ID. So, you don't need to be a Canadian citizen. Pwede kang permanent resident lang basta meron kang ID. Okay? So, how do you register? It's just a fee of $15. Pero para sa akin, yung fee ha, hindi papunta sa amin. The fee will go to the political party. Gagamitin nila yan sa campaign, sa election. Okay? Pero, if $15 is what it costs for my voice to be heard, that's nothing. Okay? First time in history na magkakaroon tayo ng representation to the federal government. So imagine, kung mapanala, if we will help Patrick Brown to win in, in the conservative party, siya yung magiging represent, siya yung, magiging, siya, yung, siya yung lalaban as prime minister, and eventually manalo siya as prime, as prime minister of Canada. Anong kapalit nun to the Filipino community? Imagine that. For, again guys, first time, listen to this, first time in history na magkakaroon ng representation ang Filipino community to the federal government through Patrick Brown. So let's make this happen. Okay, share this video to many friends as possible. 
And the step is very simple. Just register. Okay? Pwede mong i-register. Sinong pwede mamiging member? Again, anybody. Basta may provincial ID. From aging from 14 years old and above. Okay? Mga anak nyo, pwede nyo i-register. Ako, ako, Mrs. Ko, tsaka yung anak ko. For, all three of us are registered. Okay? So, once na-register na kayo, you will receive a ballot again. And from that ballot, we will select Patrick Brown as the next leader of the Conservative Party. And there's also a video. Please watch the video of Patrick Brown uh, to uh, his message to the Filipino communities. If you will listen to it, it talks about family unifi unification. That's very important kasi ang daming mga pamilya ngayon nagkakawatak-watak na tuloy sa Canada kasi ang tagal maging PR, ang tagal makuha yung pamilya nila. And second platform na pinapromise ni Patrick Brown is yung recognition of our credentials, including me. Imagine, pagdating ko ng Canada, parang papasok ako sa, ba sa butas ng kalayom para, para lang ako makapractice sa CPA. Kaya hindi ko nga natapos eh. So, same thing with other professionals. Hindi lang CPA, doctors, lawyers, ang hirap mag-practice dito sa Canada. Right? And that should have been changed. And that can only be changed. And that can only be changed if we will be properly uh, represented. So guys, let's, let's make this happen. Okay? So, click the link below to register. Okay? Bye! Filipinos worldwide are known to be hardworking, loyal, and reliable uh, residents. Uh, and during the COVID-19 pandemic, they stepped up in an incredible way. Nurses and caregivers helped on the front lines of the pandemic. And Filipinos are known to have close family ties, and they bring this attitude to work by treating everyone as their family members. That's an important in any workplace. I learned about the story of Joy God Godroy, a caregiver from Toronto and a product of the backlog for more than eight years and got reunited with her family for almost 10 years. Imagine that taking 10 years to get reunited with your, with your family. Now she's advocating on behalf of 6,000 caregivers around Canada. Joy is still fighting not just for herself, but for the rest of the caregivers uh, across the country who still struggle to be reunited with their loved ones, their family. I was so concerned about this issue because it affects Canadian families and the Filipino community um, that I work with here in Brampton uh, that uh, I'm taking Joy's campaign on a national level. We can make a difference. And if I'm elected Prime Minister, I am making an unequivocal pledge. I, Patrick Brown, Mayor of the City of Brampton, running as leader of the Conservative Party of Canada and pledging to correct the lapses and speed up the processing of Filipino-Canadian healthcare workers to become permanent residents and support family unification. I also pledge to review and make necessary legislation of the foreign educational credential certification of immigrants in all provinces to help them join and get employment in their specific field of expertise. I can only make this pledge possible if you support me in my quest to lead the Conservative Party of Canada. Your help will support my goal of building an inclusive Conservative Party of Canada and to be your next Prime Minister. But the only way to do that is to get involved in this leadership campaign and sign up. Right now, the backlogs of immigration are longer than they've ever been before. Foreign credential recognition is broken. We need a Prime Minister who will take the silos of the federal government and the provincial government and bring them together to make sure Canadians can use their God-given talent. I want nurses to be able to help in our hospital. I want doctors to be able to help in our hospital, regardless of where they earned their degree. And I have to tell you, I am so tired of going around the country and hearing stories of Canadians who want to give back, who want to help that aren't able to. I remember sitting with a Filipino community group in Saskatchewan saying they wanted to help in, our, in their local hospital when the hospital was desperately short of staff but they weren't able to because of the backlog in our, in our immigration system, the backlog in, in the accreditation. I heard the same stories in Nova Scotia. We can change this and I'm proud to have always been uh, very close to the Filipino Canadian community. I've traveled to the Philippines many times. I was one of the lead fundraisers when we had Typhoon Haiyan a decade ago. I host my own Hello, Hello parties uh, every year in, in Brampton uh, to celebrate the community. And more recently, we actually named the park, uh, Sir Jose Rizal Park, to be a symbol of our friendship with the Filipino community. I've done great work for, with the community in Barrie, in Brampton. And with your help, we can do great work on behalf of the community all across Canada.